Hello and thank you for tuning in. We are Running Expert and this is Lars. Yes. And I'm Jacob. And today we have brought to you the brand new Adidas Ultra. No. <laughs> Adidas Agravic. Adidas Terex Agravic Ultra Speed. Adidas Agravic. <laughs> Should I just take it? Yeah. yeah. It's the Adidas Terex Agravic Speed Ultra. <laughs> so many names. <laughs> Imagine how it's gonna be in like yeah. 10 years if you <laughs> yeah, just continue with this. <laughs> the intros are gonna be like 10 minutes. This is maybe the most anticipated, most hyped trail running shoe for many, many years. Yeah, it is. Uh, I can't remember a shoe that's been hyped this much. No, me neither. Uh, there's so many reasons why. Yeah. Um, Maybe the midsole, maybe yeah. the biggest part, but yeah. also it's made to win. Yeah, it won some competitions. Yeah. There's an endless runner, yeah. Tom Evans. Tom Evans uh, won the Western uh, States 100 mile. The prototype was used the year before as well, mm -hmm. winning the Western States for the female category. Okay. It's, yeah. it's been on the top of yeah. the charts. and People haven't known it for a while, but it's just haven't been released. But here it is, and you have been running in. I've tested it out. I've tested it on Interval sessions, a little speed session, yeah. uh, long run session. Sounds like a versatile shoe. We will go into that yeah. a little bit later. Yeah. So let's start with the upper, Lars. What yeah. kind of upper is this? It's a very lightweight yeah. and very breathable upper. Let's just go to the best thing about it yeah. for me. There's two things. It has a really good lockdown because it's easy to cinch down. And the other thing is that it really, really does a good job in, on the wet days. What makes it easy to it's a static upper, so usually they just don't conform to the foot okay. as the elastic uppers do. Yeah. But uh, there's some overlays that keep the structure well, and these laces. Laces, yeah. Yeah, that they're not like those, uh, you've seen those uh, zigzaggy laces, mm -hmm. but it has that kind of seam that when you tighten it, it just stays tight. Yeah. And it's nice without like pushing too far down. It's a little bit narrow in the midfoot. Not much because of the upper, but because of that platform being a little bit more narrow. Overall, it's a nice wide toe box for those longer yeah. days, um, yeah. but... It's a solid lockdown. Leaning towards a little bit mm. race fit, mm. in my opinion. What can you expect if you go into wet conditions in this, in this shoe? So far, and it's been wet the couple of last weeks, and it's just flows off and yeah. out again. Yeah. The midsole as well, I haven't really noticed yeah. anything like, you know, that sponginess you might feel yeah. from some midsoles. So far, nothing. And it almost feels like you're just, uh, yeah, you haven't been through water yeah. when you're running it. That's quite an important uh, feature for this shoe. If it, you want to take it to the long distance. That's it for the upper. So yeah. let's move on to the midsole. I see a familiar name here on the side, Lightstrike Pro. Yeah. And as I said earlier, maybe the biggest reason mm. of the hype, um, it's a pure Light Strike Pro midsole. So you have two parts of it. Mm -hmm. You have that main cushion part on yeah. the top and then a really big rocker yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the bottom. We can talk about stack, yeah. 38, 30, and it sort of doesn't yeah. make sense to think about drop because no. it's such a big rocker yeah. that yeah. when you stand in it, yeah. it's yeah. almost... Yeah. It's uh, quite a wild experience just to to put them on and stand here in the office. So what kind of ride does this uh, provide? Is it energetic? It is energetic. I, I, I feel like it shines more when you hit the gravel or, or trails. Yeah. If you compare it to other super shoes, yeah. it's a little bit on the firmer road, side. Road, road shoes, right? Yeah, especially yeah. road shoes. Yeah. But it needs to be that yeah. to be stable yeah. uh, on the trail. But when you pick up the pace a little bit, it, yeah. it has a really nice It pop. has a really good energy return yeah. compared to a lot of other trail shoes. Yeah, it, it really does. It's one of those shoes that you just have a yeah. smile on your face. Yeah. Even though it's uh, a little bit more heavy than you know those normal racing shoes are. Yeah. But that's because it's supposed yeah. to last for a long yeah. time yeah. and not yeah. just for a marathon. And it's still like yeah. for a trail shoe, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 270, yeah. Uh, it's not a bad thing. So nice ride, fast ride. What kind of runner is uh, looking for this? There's going to be a lot of runners who's yeah. looking for this shoe. Adidas has made this for the faster runners yeah. who run long distance. Mm. But if you want to run 5k, mm. you can still run in this. Yeah. If you want to run uh, a longer run where you mm. have a little bit of different surfaces, yeah. also on asphalt, it works really well on asphalt. Yeah. So it's very versatile. Mm. You can do faster runs, mm. you can do slower runs. But it's 
of course a little bit more fun when you push the pace a little bit. I think maybe those who want the most technical shoe mm. might want a little bit more of a deeper lug pattern maybe. But it's very stable for being uh, super foam. Mm. So let's move down to the outsole. Yep. Again, a familiar name. Continental. For a good reason, it just works, right? Yeah. Uh, it has a little bit of a different lug pattern mm -hmm. uh, here. A little bit shallower in the middle, a little bit deeper on the sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not too aggressive in any way. Right? No, it's versatile and it's it's mm -hmm. good and yeah. good coverage. Yeah. And Continental, yeah. we know that lasts a long time. So you just get a shoe and an outsole that yeah. will work for a long time. That is the Adidas Terex Agravic Speed Ultra. Bingo. You can find it on Running Expert. Yes.